In some parts of Uganda, women's rights to land and property are denied. The existing laws are discriminatory, attitudes and practices all undermine women. This creates a situation of dependency which hampers women's self-esteem and economic empowerment. Members of civil society organizations say majority women are in informal marriages which aggravate their predicament. Most people think that just because of cohabiting with someone, even for so many years and having many children, makes them marriage. And yet at the end of the day, there's a distinction. It's against this background that civil society organizations are advocating for formal marriages to safeguard women's interests. So we try to actually sensitize people that if you think that you are staying with someone and you have not followed the formal procedures of attending what is called an acceptable marriage according to the laws and policies of this country, then you will be disentitled when it comes to inheritance issues. Government has put in place legal frameworks to advance women liberalization, but other stakeholders should come on board. Jenina Rugadia, UBC.